Hey guys and welcome back to the FE exam review series where I cover the most common FE problems that you need to know to pass your FE exam. In today's video, we'll be covering a thermodynamic section problem, specifically under part A, properties of ideal gases and pure substances. Now let's dive in. Now before we get started, so I have an announcement for those of you guys who are taking FE Mechanical. So we are about to launch part of the Mechanical Afternoon course. So if you are interested, go ahead and let us know in the comment section below or you can sign up in this link here and we'll send you an email once we launch the course. Now let's go over the problem. So we have a two-phase liquid vapor mixture of water that has a temperature of 120 degrees Celsius and a quality of 75% and we want to determine the specific volume. So the first thing to note here guys is that we have a two-phase system. Okay, so we have the liquid and the vapor, meaning that if we take a look at the TV diagram, we're going to be inside the dome, right? And I'll talk about that more once we start solving the problem. So then what you need to do is go to the reference manual and look for the equation. So if you go to thermodynamics section, there's actually an equation there for the case when you have two phase systems, okay? So you're gonna use that equation to determine the specific volume and you're also gonna have to use the steam tables. So with that, why don't you guys go ahead and pause the video, give, give this problem a try, make sure that you guys attempt these problems, make sure that you solve them on your own so because that's how you're gonna learn and that's how you're gonna remember your mistakes on the FE exam, okay? So give it a try and I will see you guys in a little bit. Now, if you guys find this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely. And also make sure that you guys download our cheat sheet here that has very important concepts and equations that you need to know for your FE exam. Okay guys, so as we mentioned before, we have a two-phase systems here. So the first thing we got to do is go to the reference manual and grab the equation. So here under thermodynamics section, you, you guys are giving the two-phase system equation for a specific volume. So this is the equation we're going to use. Now you can use the first equation or the second equation. It doesn't really matter. They're the same. I'm going to actually use the second equation. And then also I'm going to replace this term here, Fg, by the saturated vapor minus the saturated liquid. So this is the equation that we're gonna use. Now we have to go to the steam table so that we can find the specific volume of the saturated vapor and the saturated liquid. But before we do that, I would like to go over this diagram with you guys. So this diagram here represents temperature versus the specific volume. And here we have the saturation temperature. So the saturation temperature is the temperature at which a substance or water, like we have in this example, will boil and change phase from liquid to vapor at a given pressure. And then also inside the dome, the temperature is always remains constant, okay? So inside the dome, what we have here, guys, is a mixture of liquid and vapor, okay? So here we have liquid, okay? Here we have vapor, and inside the dome, we have a mixture of liquid and vapor. Now, at this point here, this is the specific volume of the saturated liquid, okay? So F is for liquid, and here it's for vapor, okay? And what we're trying to do, we're trying to determine the specific volume that belongs to a quality of 75%. Now, what does quality mean? Quality just really tells us how much of the water has vaporized, okay? Or how much vapor do we have in the mixture of liquid and vapor, okay? So in this problem, we have 75% of vapor, okay? And so we're just trying to determine what is the specific volume when we have a quality of 75%, okay? So now let's go to the steam tables and then grab the values for the specific volume of the saturated liquid and then the saturated vapor. Now, if we go to the thermodynamics section, here we are giving the steam tables. So we're gonna take a look at the temperature 120, okay? And so for 120, this is going to be the saturated liquid and this is going to be the saturated vapor. So these are the values that we're gonna use. 
Now, one thing I forgot to mention to you guys is that whenever you have a liquid vapor mixture, always think about steam tables. So that's when you can use the steam tables is that when you are inside the dome or you have a liquid vapor mixture, okay? Now, you also have the superheated tables on the reference manual and we usually use those tables when we have a superheated vapor, meaning that the specific volume is greater than the specific volume of the saturated vapor, okay? So just something to keep in mind. Now, if you guys plug in the numbers into the equation, this is what you're going to get. Now, for the quality, make sure that you guys divide it by 100, okay? So don't use the percentage. Now, if you guys plug in these numbers into your calculator, you're going to get 0 0.6692. So now, if we take a look at the multiple choice, the answer is going to be C. Now, for the units, we're going to have cubic meters per kilogram. That's the unit of specific volume and also every term in the equation have the units of cubic meters per kilogram. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and also the next FE problem that we're going to post is going to be about finding the outlet velocity of a nozzle. So make sure that you guys like, subscribe, hit the bell so you guys don't miss out on any future videos. Now, if you are currently studying for your FE exam and you are looking for study resources that will help you pass your FE exam faster, make sure to check out our courses at jennyprep.com. Our courses have helped hundreds of students pass the FE exam. Also, make sure to check out this playlist here that has over 100 FE problems that will help you with your FE preparation. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great productive week and I will see you guys on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh, yeah.